Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please rise, remove your hats, and welcome Don Irvin as we honor America and the men and women serving in the armed forces and safety services with this performance of our national anthem. The first time I ever sang the anthem by myself in front of anyone other than just running it through was at Boston Garden for the Celtics. And that was 2003, 2004, something like that. Um, and I absolutely loved it. And since then, I've done NBA, a lot of major league, a lot of minor league. In 2001, I was living in Southern California, and I was doing a play, I was doing a production of South Pacific at the Lawrence Welk Resort in Escondido, California. And the Welk Resort has it set up that whatever show they're doing that, that any summer, the cast goes to a San Diego Padres game and sings the anthem. Now, if you all remember, many years ago, there was a rather controversial version of the anthem by Roseanne Barr. So for all the anthems in San Diego, they are put on a pre-recorded track. So the cast of the production with the lead at that time, and I wasn't playing the lead in the show, but the lead at that time um, sang the lead on the anthem and then we all backed him up. Well, that's we put that on track and then the day of the game, we all drive down there. He gets caught in traffic. And we're all on the field, and the director says, okay, does anybody here want to lip sync to Bill's part because he's running late? And I immediately jumped forward, said I'd do it. And he said, okay, fine, you can just lip sync along. And I went to step forward, and right before we started, Bill made it. So I had to step back and sing with the um, chorus, which I had no problem doing. But a, a, an idea was implanted in my brain at that point. said, well, I love sports, and I love performing. This is the perfect marriage. Drink it in. So then I literally went on the internet and started Googling teams and, you know, who I, where can you go? What do you do to sing the anthem? And a friend of mine who's in the um, recording business in Southern California put a track of me singing the anthem on the um, old cassette tapes. And I made a bunch of copies and I went on the internet and got addresses and I just sent them out and shortly thereafter I got a call from the Boston Celtics but that's how it all started with the idea of I was going to lip sync to somebody else singing and because I enjoyed it so much that I said ah, I had to do this more often I really like it and that's how it started of course that's led to many other things including uh, the Columbus crew and yes many of the teams that you've sung for have also Canadian teams to stop by so you are a dual talent Yes, I, I do owe Canada as well. Specifically, I do that more for the soccer matches um, as well. Although I do have aspirations of going up to Toronto to do a Blue Jays game. That would be quite thrilling. But for the Columbus crew, who I am a regular anthem singer, I think this year I will have done 15 matches for them. But yeah, I've learned owe Canada as well. Here at Conference Stadium, it's a much different animal because the acoustics are a little different. You've got feedback from one end and the other end mm -hmm. coming right at you. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about how you combat that. Well, the first time I sang here, I just muscled through it with that Doppler. And then they suggested, because they suggested before to put earplugs in, I said, oh no, I couldn't possibly do that. I can hear myself. It only took one time doing it to go, no, I'll put the earplugs in. So when I'm here, I always have earplugs in and I can hear if you put your fingers in your ears and start talking you'll hear yourself talk same way singing I put plugs in my ears and I can hear myself sing make sure I'm on pitch but I don't get that same bounce back um, toughest venue to sing at that I've ever sung right here yeah with the voice competitions and things like that people have tried to embellish it why do you stick with the way your style well th this is my feeling about the anthem why we live in an amazing country and you have the right to express yourself however you want I feel pretty strongly about singing it exactly how Francis Scott Key wrote it or very close to that that's my choice and it's been very successful for me teams appreciate that that I'm you know they know what they're gonna get and they're gonna get the anthem exactly how it was written 
Um, again, other people can do that, and there's been a lot of controversies around the anthem, and I respect anyone's opinion to do whatever they need to do with that. But my feeling is I sing it the way it was, it was originally written, very straightforward. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please rise, remove your hats, and welcome Don Irvin. As we honor America and the men and women serving in the armed forces and safety services with this performance of our national anthem. What was this like compared to uh, one you've done recently? Like the Columbus Crew or whichever? Colder, <laughs> much colder. <clears throat> and a little uh, hiccup on one of the notes there, but that's okay. I may have noticed it. I don't know if anybody else had. <laughs> Goalkeeper from Leewood, Kansas, number 24, John! A defender from Awutu Breku, Ghana, number 25, Harrison! A midfielder from Sacramento, California, number 28, Nico! 